Great Taz here once again with another replay from the world of tanks. And in this replay, we will be watching myself play the tier 9 Russian light tank, the T-54 lightweight. And this map is on Westfield. This is a tier 9 battle. And we're off and running. As you can see here, we rush up the hill and uh, start off that general direction. <clears throat> rush right up in here into the corner and uh, try to get into a position to get some good spotting positions. Now, I try to always rush this corner for the simple fact it gets me into a position to be able to see down their line. And if something like this happens, oh, that didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Um, I ricochet the Type 49. He's not using the big gun. Oh, that's good. He's not using the derp cannon. Get another shot in on him. Uh, the 1375 is helping me out with the guy. Take a stop, back up, move forward. Oh, we're going to pull forward and try not to get shot by the Type 59. <clears throat> We're auto-aiming again at the T-49 to try to get that shot in on him to get rid of the T-49. There he is. We're going to pull around on the back side here and try to get rid of him. There's the Type 59's trying to hit me. It ain't going to work out too well. We're going to circle him a little bit and we bounce around from the Type 59. He still got me aimed on uh, now bounce a shot off of him. Now he's looking at the third the R type our 1375 go in for another swing pass and they really don't have anything over this way. It don't look like oh that kind of didn't work out the way we wanted it to but oh whatever it is what it is going in for the the track shot and do and end up. The T-20 takes out the Type 59. Now, the Comet's over here somewhere. There he is. Let's go in and take him out and do the same pretty much thing to him. Circle him to death. Oh, there Artie shoots at us. Um, no, that was our own Artie. Thank you. We'll have another one. Not. Uh, I hate when Artie shoot, does stuff like that, especially when you're in a fast tank. Stuns your crew and then screws you all up. All right. Well... We've cleaned out the, the, the K0 corner, so we're going to push on and keep back up against the red line so we're not being spotted by any enemies off to the side. Um, well, bounce off the red line. Bink. Oh, there's artillery. Oh, the GW Panther's trying to run away. We're going to give him a good shot in the butt. And then wait, wait. Oh, no, we're not going to get the kill. The uh, 1375, who's been following me around, took that kill. That's all right. I don't care if he gets the kill because we're still, still doing the damage and we're still getting the spot damage. Oh, look, the FV. Hi, FV. Here, take a round in the face. Oh, you missed. Maybe it was their FV. Yeah, it was their FV trying to shoot me. Oh, my goodness gracious. I need to pay attention to more more to the player ears sometimes. All right. Now with both of them already dead, we're going to move on and uh, continue on. Oh, look. There's the uh, T25 ta um, Type 2, Tash 2, Slash 2, whatever you want to call it. I'm not quite sure. And uh, we're just going to run and shoot at him, and we're going to miss both times. Well, that kind of sucks because that's the T54 lightweight for you. It doesn't have the greatest accuracy on the move. But now we're going to play a game called Peak shoot and go come on come on bait that shot out there come on come on oh now he's gonna come down around the corner that, that's that's perfect time we'll take a shot oh he shots us and hurts us knocks out our driver but that's perfectly fine because we'll go back up here uh, auto aim made us block into the shoot into the rock that auto aim was a little low so we're gonna back down here a little bit more and try to get him to come after us. Ooh, he does come after us, but he doesn't shoot at us. He takes out the 1375. Sorry, buddy. It happens. Ooh, that is our Artie there. Thank you, Artie. Please do not do that again. That kind of sucked. Ah, and ladies and gentlemen, that would be the battle. That one was less than a five-minute battle. And it was very intense at points in time.
It was a very fast battle, as if you noticed. Uh, why don't we go ahead and take a moment to slide right on over to the place called WattRecords.com and see how we did. Well, this was a first class badge. Uh, we earned Fire for Effect, Hand of God, Bruiser, and Confederate. Now, we didn't get any kills this battle, but we did do 13 damaging shots to six different uh, enemy vehicles. And then Mr. Sergeant Hudson from our own team splashed damages, which it really was not fun. Mm, 3,163 damage overall with 857 um, assist damage. We really did a lot of our own damage in this one. Uh, we didn't get a lot of assist damage. I think a lot of 1375 got more of that than anything. Because he got in between us and a lot of the tanks. So, it is what it is. Overall, it was a 3,833 WN8 game. Uh, we were top in damage on both teams. And top in experience. And again, this is an 1,100, uh, uh, 1100 base experience battle. And it still only got a first class. Like I said... Um, in another video earlier, at another point in time, these things are getting tougher and tougher to get, um, as really the more seasoned players are only playing them. Um, and we don't have a lot of new players coming along and making it to the top tiers. Um, 4,343,000 4, credits, uh, got compensation from, uh, the... The 4043 for another 5,000. So we walked out with 48,500 credits. Uh, but we did have to repair price our ammo and we had to repair our vehicle. So we only walked out with 28.4. Um, we had a 1654 for our premium experience, premium account experience. It was a five time play during a five times. We also had personal reserves running, so we got another 827 experience. So this gave me nine, almost 10,000 experience to put towards the T100 LT. All right, ladies and gentlemen, with that all being said, um, this was a really short video. And I don't have any extra little trailers to throw on the end of this. So... This is going to be one of my shorter ones. <laughs> I hope you liked it. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you did not like this video and thinks it deserves it, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. And if you're not a subscriber, please take the time to subscribe. Uh, you will be helping me out and the rest of the community. Uh, and uh, we really hope to see you again. Um, keep checking back. I uh, have new replays three times a week right now, currently. Maybe more, uh, depending on the situation. With all that, ladies and gentlemen, please have a great day. And this is Great Taz signing off, saying, see you soon.